Hello, TBC Vortex here for Team Demo Clan. Today we're going to be doing a stimulus package review, so here's Bailout. So let it load up. I'm going to be using my Magnum Tactical Knife because the map's quite big, so it is. Uh, I'll just wait for it. So you start off basically in a car park and um, it's quite a large map. Uh, you can go in, I think you can go in every building actually. There's some parachutes and stuff here. It's the first time on the map for me, so come in this building, you can pretty much get from one end to the other without going outside if you go in here. Window there so you can look out maybe if you're doing demolition or something. Or capture the flag. Carry on through the building. There's like a walkway right here, you can come down there, there's another car park. Um more buildings. You can come back inside now, so you've hardly gone outside really. This is an empty room, I don't really see the point in it. Um come down here there's a lot of mach random machines and stuff, just for detail I guess. Pool tables, um come down here. More stuff, more stuff. Um fire, hole in the wall. You can go in all the buildings around there, I think. Um, I just like to check so if the water splashes, which it does, so I'm happy. Um, you can lie on them, but I wouldn't advise in a game, for obvious reasons. Um, you can come in the building, in a minute the clip should cut, because it went on for about 10 minutes, so I thought I'd better save it. Up there. Um, yeah, there it is. You can like, jump out the window and stuff come down here and right now I'm just seeing how long it takes to get from one end of the map to the other from the moment I hit the floor from the window so I think it takes about 15-16 seconds maybe a bit more and um so yeah it's a massively long map but it's not that wide there we go and, and um it's probably quite a good map for sniping actually it's another room just overlooking this area uh, you can come down here, you can do all sorts of stuff. There's a whole layer underneath as well, which I didn't really get to. So I think next I'm doing salvage, and um, it's quite, um, it's not a massive map, but it's quite, it's a medium sized map I would say. It's not massive, but it's not small. Uh, if you've downloaded the maps, installed the update and they're all working for you, you'll find them by going onto your map list by changing the map and then they'll be at the top in bonus maps and they'll be all five there. So I guess for the DRC he's gonna be like that. So this is salvage anyway. And um so let it load up. Now I've auto assigned and tassel so I'm falling and um I'm far right, so I guess that's where they spawn. Um most of the maps on one level there's a couple of buildings where you can go upstairs most of them you can't. There's maybe three buildings where you can, but you can go in nearly all the buildings. It's quite fun. These pipes, I'm not sure if you could get up to that. I couldn't, but I only tried once, so you know. You can go on that box there, which I completely missed. So I was going in this pipe for no apparent reason. Um, well, you can go up there. I didn't miss it. There's quite a large area around here. Lots of people like to camp. The building in front, not this, that building in front there, You, c everyone camps in. And a good spot is actually just where I was lying then. You have to crouch to go through there. Go upstairs, everyone always camps the stairs at the back, just behind them. It's really annoying. Found this out from matchmaking. You can go on the roof, uh, this is pretty much the other end of the map. There's a long bit down here. And, um, you can go through there, you can climb all the way down. Not sure if there's any point really. No one ever goes there much raking, so come back up, go through here and there's another area which I guess is the other spawn. Um that's a dog house. So a new tube in there should solve any problems. You can easily get in and out, it's not that hard, just lie down and then crouch into inside. Um just leave it for a minute. There's a lot of areas where you can kind of 
thunder around then, like the cars, for example, by here. It'll probably get lost if you're not careful. Um, it's quite a complicated map. Right now I'm just doing the running test again to see how large the map is. So there we go, that was about maybe 8-9 seconds, so not too long. It's still much bigger than worse though. You can't get up on this pipe, so I'm just going to end the game. And last I think is Storm, which is probably the biggest map out of the three maybe. I'm not really sure, it's either that or um, bail out, so... Just let it load up. On Storm there's a massive warehouse in the middle and then there's kind of like a long loop around it. Not sure if you played on Rats, there's some Halo 3, it's a bit like that, kind of. Without the vehicles. There's loads of buildings on this map, which I don't go in, because I've kind of missed a lot of them. Because it's the first time on here, I've really found them out from playing Search and Matchmaking, so... You can't go in there. I tried. <laughs> I failed. Uh, come up here... I'm not sure if it's a glitch, but it does seem to rain inside the buildings. A little bit. So, um... If you're interested in getting bullet penetration kills with snipers, there isn't much glass on the other two routes, but there's plenty on this. If you're interested in that, so here's one now. I fail at knife and you can come on here. You probably could do that jump, but I fail epically. Uh you can come up here, there's a roof there. You can't really get on it. I tried again just to make sure. And um here we go. Just jumping again. Just having a look at the map, see how large it is. Look around. Sorry about all the bleepy bleepies in the corner, it's just them. Um, <coughs> I've got to turn them off when I was doing this, I so was too excited. Um, room here, you can go inside. Quite a good camping spot, because one of the spots on search is just down there, so. And again, I'm just checking the water. I'd like to do that. If they've actually put some effort in then, I mean, after the massive mess up on the day of release. So, I suppose you're here for the review, so there's a lot in the description about it, but is it worth it? Well, I personally think it is, because you get five maps, and uh, I think four, it works like 16 mics off points less per map. It says in the description anyway. Um, the maps are quite good. Well, they're real good. They're better than most of the ones on the game, anyway. And, um... Matchmaking's kind of boring on COD, so I think this might make it a bit more interesting. <coughs> Finally... Um, should you get it? I say definitely. But I'm not sure if everyone would agree with me. The map's, a, I guess, personal choice, so... <coughs> yeah, I'm just about to do the running test now. So it does take quite a while on this map. I think it's about 15 seconds. I'll tell you now. <coughs> Doop -de -doo. Yeah, it's about 16 seconds maybe. So I'm going to end the game now in a sec. And um, yeah, if you want the map, get them definitely. Otherwise, don't bother. Um, subscribe, rate and comment and um, thanks for watching